One of the issues we should address here is why we care so much about Neanderthals. In the history of paleoanthropology, Neanderthals are central. A lot of our earliest fossil evidence for human evolution comes in the form of Neanderthals, specimens like these two. And yet, in an evolutionary standpoint, Neanderthals probably aren't as important as the attention we give them. If we think about the evolutionary reality of humans over the last million and a half years, as they've occupied large stretches of Africa, the Middle East, East Asia, Southeast Asia, Europe was probably always fairly marginal on the peripheries of that environment. Europe was one of the last areas of the Old World to be occupied, and throughout the late Pleistocene, as we had major Ice Age events, it became an even smaller space as populations were restricted to Southern Europe. So Neanderthals were probably always a fairly small population, probably only a tenth the size of the population in Africa, maybe even less. So from an evolutionary standpoint, they are always fairly marginal, although not insignificant, especially as we think of their geographic expanse across Central Asia and Western Eurasia. But they're important in the history of our discipline because they've been the center of discussion for so long. The question of modern human origins was for most of its history really a question of how do we deal with Neanderthals and early modern Homo sapiens in Europe? And the reason there's been this focus is of course because most of the people who have been paleoanthropologists live in Europe or have European ancestry or work in Europe. The earliest fossil discoveries were from amateurs in fact just going to caves in Western Europe. They'd have a weekend picnic where they'd go visit caves at places like La Ferrecie and see what they could find. And indeed what they found was fossil evidence of our past. But the reality is even though the discipline is focused on Europe because most of us are Europeans in some fashion or another, most of our evolutionary history is in Africa. And indeed a large part of it might have been in East Asia. The populations in East Asia may have been much larger and persisted for a much longer time period than those in Europe. So it would benefit all of us to think about the evolution of humans, and especially the evolution of modern humans, outside of the European context, to think about it in a much broader context, incorporating the materials from specimens throughout the rest of the old world as well. Neanderthals are an important part of the history of our understanding of human evolution, but their importance to our understanding of human evolution is that they're just one part of the story, and maybe not as big a part of the story as we think they are.